Star Space. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. That's all we need. You're cleared for landing at a... What's the story on Montero Luna? That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off the land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. For the time being, yes, but she could still be in danger. That's why we need to fill in some blanks. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? If that's true, then someone must have hired them. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? Hmm. Says here the thief had help from someone inside Hope Tech. There ain't much to go on. There's something else. They were dressed in Freestar Militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. Didn't you fight in the Colony War, Marshal? That sound familiar at all? The First Cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. But it was disbanded decades ago. After the Battle of Nera, what was left of it anyway? The First Cavalry lost almost all their mechs and soldiers in a big push to take the United Colony's base. They were just about there when a ceasefire order came down. Both sides had just lost too much by then. It was a bloodbath. The commanding officer of the first disobeyed the order. He didn't want the lives of his soldiers to be sacrificed for nothing. They court-martialed him and the rest of the surviving officers and locked them all up. I suppose it ain't impossible, but it's real damn unlikely. The unit was pretty much wiped out, and the few that survived ended up in prison after a court-martial for disobeying orders. I don't recall how long the sentence was. The war between the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective? Worst conflict the settled systems has ever seen. Each side unleashed terrible weapons on the other. And countless people died. The armistice uh, was signed 20 years ago. But a lot of folks still bear their scars. Hell, it's our only lead. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. 
He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. The ruling body that oversees the Free Star Collective and the Rangers. The council members are the political and corporate elite of the Free Star Collective, so we have to tread lightly when we're dealing with them. Proud, stubborn, and smart. A self-made man. He built Hope Tech through blood, sweat, and sheer willpower. Good. The last thing I need is the council breathing down my neck. This is your assignment now, deputy. Work with the other rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the 1st Cavalry. Good hunting. Nicely done. Anything I can... Hey, what can I do? You were able to land it, so I'm sure whatever is broken can be fixed. Okay, no problem. Some work done? Okay.
got anything you need to offload? Okay, no problem. Sorry to pull you aside like this, but I wanted to take a moment to congratulate you. Taking those steps to eradicate the Terramorph threat is essential to the safety of every living thing in the settled systems. You should be proud. Indeed. Leaving that problem unchecked could have made the situation go from bad to worse. I only wish that the United Colonies chose to exterminate the Terramorphs with the experimental microbe, instead of choosing this ridiculous Asili solution. Apparently, their decision was based on your recommendation. <sighs> that was a risky choice you've made. I beg to differ with you. Deploying the Asili solution is going to take years, perhaps even decades. The microbe would have cut that time drastically. Well, I'm disappointed that you didn't trust the science. Unfortunately, locking away the Lazarus plant instead of eliminating it adds to the risk. Anything that accelerates the Terramorph life cycle 
should have been completely removed from the equation. Why take the chance? Of course. I wouldn't have it any other way. I appreciate the fact that you've taken the time to listen to my opinion on the matter. I'm sorry if I've said anything that jeopardizes our working relationship.
Please tell me you're here to help. Not to try and steal my ship. Welcome aboard, Deputy. Sorry if I can't give you the Grand Tour just yet. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. I'll be fine once the pain medication kicks in. The priority right now is the ship. Can't do my job without it. Just patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. Thanks. I owe you one. Not the most exciting work I can think of. Thanks. That should get me home. You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. We can't let that happen. They look to be heading for Polvo's Moon Miatha. Good hunting.
ship. Scan complete. You're clear to land. Smugglers always like to use Hope Tech ships to resemble legitimate transports. I wonder how the company feels about that. I don't want to hear any- A fair amount of business runs through. You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust? Good. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened them up for you. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The Marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the Starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. No, I can't get answers as to why not. I'm sure Mr. Hope has his reasons. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. I have never liked Hope Tech ships. Though I suppose that is hardly the point of them. Ron Hope isn't just the founder and president of Hope Tech. He's on the Council of Governors. The Council oversees the Free Star Rangers, so don't rile them up. I've spent a long time trying to build a good relationship with Hope. <laughs> he comes on a little strong, but there's a lot to admire about the man. Everything you see around you, he built. Pretty much everyone in this town owes him for their livelihood. You can't begin to imagine the kind of pressure that must put on someone. All I'm saying is, try to show a little respect. Every executive in the settled systems have an office on the top floor. Uh, I guess being above everyone makes them feel like they're, well, <laughs> above everyone. just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. We look out for our people here, Burchett. That's a point of great personal pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, damn, good to see you. I think we're done here, Burchett. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a Free Star Ranger. Mm, we certainly could use more of you. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. Justice must be done, and the sooner the better. That's good news. I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course, that doesn't mean your work is done. I want the thief found, and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors? I'm glad we understand each other. You certainly seem to have taken a liking to this man. 
Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Though what happened after the ship was taken doesn't concern me, what does concern me is making sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. Because I told them not to. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Uh, what's more, every Starship thief in the settled systems would, would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. What? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. <laughs> Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. We questioned everyone who was in the building when it happened, and not one person seems to have seen anything at all. Frankly, I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. However, I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable the thief could have slipped in unseen. No, nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo holder. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech build some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. Now you can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust, and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. If more people know about the theft, your chances of learning something useful will improve. Someone might have seen the thief and could identify them. I considered that, but in the end, I deemed it too great a risk. I've chosen to place my faith in the Free Star Rangers instead. I'm glad we understand one another. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope, but there's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. A breakthrough at last. Well, Deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon, which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? Keep an eye on your valuables. If you can't protect your own, you don't belong here. That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. Let's hope. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger stationed there. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us. But a Neon's a different kind of place. He's what I'd call a pragmatist. He sees things for what they are. He's also well-connected, which means a lot on Neon. You should listen to what he tells you. It'll keep you out of trouble. 
well, we could talk for an hour about that. The short version would be that crime, law, and justice don't exactly mean the same things there. The badge doesn't carry the same weight on Neon, so you might have to get creative. He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. I'll be taking it easy for a couple of days. Need time to heal up. Then, I need to get back up there and keep an eye out for more pirates. I'm hoping to track one of their ships so I can find their hideout. Guess we could both use a little luck, huh? No problem. Good luck on Neon, Deputy. Enjoy. If you'll excuse me, I am on duty. Spring for the extended warranty. You just won't need it. We'd be dust except for the factory. Off-worlders. Nothing ever good comes. Welcome to Hope Tech Sales. Give me your invoice. You got the financing set up already? You don't? Wait, you're a solo outfit, aren't you? Okay. Nice. Well, what you need to know about our ships is they're from stern about built for reliability. Other star yards might got glitz or some weird crazy lines. With Hope Tech, you get people that care about you making that 300th freight run safely and on time. Listen, this whole system was nothing until Ron Hope came here. He gave us a purpose, a, a mission. Something we could be proud of. To us, this job is life. And the quality of what we make shows it. A smart person chooses substance over form every time. Sound familiar? So what are you in the market for? Well, if you have your own ship, we're always looking for bulk resources. Star Yards have negotiated a set price with the Trade Authority. Twice the market rate. As a first-time contractor, I am required by law to let you know that every Star Yard offers the same terms. But obviously, you should deal with us. Okay, depending on your cargo hold size, you may need to make several trips to fulfill the order. So what we need is chlorine. The request is for a large quantity, 5,000 units of it. Excellent. This invoice has the details. I worked the freight lines flying a Hope Tech ship for near a decade. Gertrude saw me through plenty of scrapes and just hard travel. Hope Tech ships will save your life. It did mine. You have a good day. You walk the factory floor? <laughs> it's impressive stuff. 